All right, welcome back live right here on the Bordis of Bordis Hotline of the Nightly Sports Call. Bob Pompiani with you until 11 o'clock tonight. And check out our sportscast. We have a lot of stuff in there, a lot of highlights from today in case you were out and about, including a Pine Richland win in Altoona that lands them in the state finals to go along with Quaker Valley. And what a year that's been for Coach Vescio over there. And Jeanette, they get in. They're the winningest team in WPIL history now. I believe it's 735 wins, so they get in as well. Uh, as I said, Washington did not get in, although they played a really high-scoring game at 49-42, to 42, but they lose last night. So those teams will compete in the finals. Unfortunately, of all the teams around here, that it's uh, Washington that does not get in. Uh, Gateway gets in on a last-second field goal, 31-28. They win a very dramatic game, so all good for all those schools. And they will play one game on Thursday, there's another on Friday, and two on Saturday this coming week. All right, we got some Twitter action here. Deathwitch says on Twitter at KD Pomp, do you think the Steelers, Bob, are holding back and will lay some surprises on an unsuspecting Patriots team? I, I think like all matchups that you circle and you have in mind, uh, there are things that you tuck away and don't show until you want to against the team you have to beat, and I think that would be New England. Uh, that's not to take Cincinnati or Baltimore. Both are capable of beating the Steelers. Both have done that before. And I wouldn't be surprised on Monday if the Steelers lose this game. At the beginning of the season, I had it as a loss. Uh, and then they'd beat New England to get the check mark when it comes to head-to-head -to -head and, and eventually get a number one seed. So it still could play out that way. We'll find out what goes on in that game. All right, let's go out to the Lions. We got Bruce in the North Hills. What's up, Bruce? How you doing? Hey, Bob, we're doing good. How about yourself? I'm fine, thank hey, you. Uh, I want an opinion from the best, and that be you. All right, thank uh, you. I think that if it comes down to Ohio State and Alabama, uh -huh. Alabama should be the pick because they got the one loss and Ohio State got two. Bottom line, two losses, you're out. And one of them, they gave up 55 points to Iowa. That's not exactly. a good look. And exactly. the other one was at home. They lost at home. It was to a good Oklahoma C, uh, team, Baker Mayfield, early in the season. But still, that's yeah. a home loss. And, that's, you know, and is. Ohio State got be the benefit on their side last year when a lot of people felt they should not have gone in because they did not win a championship. This year they do. It could go the other way for them. I personally agree thoroughly, sir. And two losses, like I said, two losses, you're gone. All right. Thanks very much. Appreciate yes, your call, Thank Bruce. You. All right. Let's go out to Jim in Saxonburg. Jim, how are you tonight? How are you doing, Bob? I was watching some college basketball this week, mm -hmm. and I was kind of surprised. If I ask you who are the four top winning coaches in college basketball, who would you tell me? Uh, Mike Krzyzewski, right? Uh, Roy Williams. I would have said Rick Pitino had he still been around. I'm not sure. Now, who am I going to miss here? Um, Jim Beheim. No. Nah, Tom I Izzo. The four top winning coaches in college basketball are Pat Summit, Coach K. No, wait a minute. Okay, you're talking about all time now. I was talking about active. I thought you meant active. I'm, I didn't say just men. I said college basketball. I didn't say men or women. So it's Pat Summit. Okay. Coach Bobby K. Bobby Knight. Vandermeer from uh, Stanford. Right. And soon to be Ori Enema. Or, or the guy from Connecticut, but I can't pronounce his name. Gino Ariema, yeah. Yeah, Gino, yeah. All right, so. So three of them are women. How come everybody, when you talk sports, 50% of the population are women, you just go to men and you uh, just don't, don't count I, the women? I include them. I, I thought you were talking about, you said you watched a lot of basketball this weekend. You didn't specify what you were watching, so. I was watching Connecticut play uh, All right. Las Vegas. But you, <laughs> did, you didn't say that. You just, you watched a lot of basketball, and I thought but you meant. why did you coaches? assume that I was watching a men's game? I, because I assumed you did. I don't know. I, you didn't specify. So there here we go. are, live that's, television. I'm, I'm not reading your brain, man. Sports. Everything. If you okay, what is your point? What is your point? Women win most of our medals in Olympics, too. All right. Thanks, Bob. I'll talk to you later. All right. John and Green Tree. Hey, how you doing, John? My, my call, man. How you doing, man? How you doing? What's up? What's up, man? Uh, we went by the Penguins, man. Um, I like the Penguin game, man. Um, I'm uh, uh, try to see if they can win back to back Stanley Cups, man. Um, we won by the Penguins. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was. Uh, but it's a bad team in Buffalo. Quite frankly, if you don't beat that team, shame on you. They, they are not playing well. They got the worst record in, uh, I think, the NHL. Now they're 6-17. and 17. That puts them yeah, right up there with Arizona. And that's not a good company to be in. Although Rick Tockett's team is playing better these days. They're gaining some steam. Uh, so, yeah, they'd be the last uh, place team in all of hockey. And that's not a good look for Jason Bottrell right off the bat. He's got some work to do. I saw him, uh, you know, over there tonight, and, you know, he knows it, uh, especially when your top player, Paul, uh, or Jack Eichel, is not playing very well right now, which he is not. 
We have some other Twitter reaction, and if you have a comment you'd like to call, it's open lines right now at 412-575-2600. Uh, Gregory Buggy Sr. says, don't forget Homer City. That's right, Homer City and Jeanette will go at it. And it's Indiana County versus Westmoreland County, Homer City. I was there just a few years ago to give an extra effort award, too. It's a really nice place, a good school. We had twins, I believe, if I, if I can remember uh, back then, uh, who were terrific. Uh, or, or maybe two, I forget what it was, but there were two people instead of one. And I normally give one award, but in this case, there were two deserving, and I forget who they were. But that was a few years ago. Kevin Davis says, this is why college football is a joke. Make a true playoff. The conference champs are the big five and three at-large teams. To keep it, all this uh, rinky-dick bowls happy. Make no one happy by keeping the current system in place. It's interesting tonight on the Mike Tomlin Show presented by 84 Lumber, 1135 on KDKA. Our last segment, I asked Tomlin his take on this because he, he follows college football a lot. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised one day down the road, if he ever got out of the NFL, if he, he ends up coaching college football. But I asked him about what he thinks would be the perfect system, and his answer may surprise you. That's coming up tonight, 11.35 on KDKA. All right, Ronald in Aliquippa is on the sports call. Hello, Ronald. Hey, Bob. Go right ahead. Well, I have a short question. Do you think the Penguins will win the third Stanley Cup this season? I mean, that's a hard – they're going to be one of the teams to have to go through, there's no doubt. When they're healthy and playing the way they're capable of, Ron, they are as good as it gets. Uh, they have largely the same team intact. They lost core players, as you know, with Cullen, uh, with Fleury, with Kunitz, who's gone out of Tampa, with Trevor Daly. All of those guys are very good pieces, but, you know, in a salary cap era, it's hard to keep everyone around, and they're going to find that to be the case after this season with Ian Cole and or Patrick Hornquist. It's a lot to ask because you have to factor in money, and there is a cap in place, unlike baseball. So, yeah, they can be. But I think if you look at the Eastern Conference right now, uh, Tampa Bay still would be the team I'd look at, although uh, Columbus leads the Metropolitan Division, and they're still a tough matchup. And if Bob Borowski plays the way he's capable, that's a tough team to get out. But the Penguins have had his number of late. So, yeah, if I'm an Eastern Conference team, I look at the Penguins, and I say that's the team we got to get through because they've won it twice. they got experience. they got speed. they got all the components it needs to win, and two good young goaltenders. We'll take a break. 412-575-2600. Call us and air your opinion. We're right here live on Pittsburgh CW.